The IRS form CP504B is rather unusual. We don't see it that often. It's actually a notice of, their, of the IRS's intent to levy your uh, property and your rights to your property. The word levy actually means to seize and it's important to note that when the IRS issues you this notice, well, at least as to regards to this particular tax liability, they don't have the legal right to seize or levy anything from you until they've issued you a formal letter 1058 and waited the 30 days uh, for you to appeal that letter 1058. So this letter is a bit of a, a paper tiger. It doesn't really mean much other than it's very scary and uh, I've received these in the past as a taxpayer and I think that they are very scary at least when you're in that position and it has another thing that it does it actually maxes out your penalty rate at an extra 0.25 percent uh, per month uh, until those penalties are actually exhausted you know the penalties are actually accrued daily penalties and interest are accrued daily so you're paying penalties and interest on penalties and interest that were accrued yesterday. So it's a bit of a racket. Penalties and interest get out of control with IRS tax debt. So it's important that you go ahead and take care of those. But the CP504B is a, a scary letter. It, uh, it's intended to get you to pay uh, your tax uh, bill as soon as possible, but it does not grant the right, any, uh, the right to the IRS of any special right to levy or seize your property. If you have questions about this or just want to know more about IRS tax problem resolution, I invite you to visit our website at getirshelp.com.